And it's time to welcome on set our in-house expert, Dan and Jay Cattlecar. Hello and welcome, Dan. Hello, Julia. Such apps are springing up a little bit everywhere worldwide, and perhaps the most famous one is Nextdoor.com. Tell us more about the, the story behind this concept. Well, Nextdoor was founded in 2010, and it's based in San Francisco. It essentially is a location-based social network, which is unlike Facebook. So here in um, Nextdoor, for example, when you post a message, it gets read or it gets received only by those people in the immediate area. Plus, there are no buttons for sharing, so the message doesn't uh, proliferate, unlike other social networks. Uh, so as you can imagine, it basically connects neighbors, and when neighbors get connected, there are multiple applications. So its intent, for example, is uh, maybe to do mundane stuff. So if you want to borrow some things from your neighbors, you can post a message and you can get those things. But at the same time, it also has another purpose of fighting crime. So if you uh, witness some suspicious activity, you can post the message and alert the neighborhood that something wrong is happening. And it's not just the neighbors who alert each other, it's also the local police departments that have, uh, that are using the apps. For example, in the U.S., they uh, inform uh, particular neighborhoods if there are any problems, and vice versa. So the people can also send tips to police if they record any suspicious activity. So it's a, it's a network that is helping uh, prevent a crime. And now let's talk about another app. It's called Ring, and it was created some six years ago, and it's about to hit the French market within days now. Uh, it started as a smart doorbell, and now it's become a set of security devices. Uh, the man behind this story is really one perseverant fellow. Tell us more about him. He is. He appeared on the uh, reality show Shark Tank, in which entrepreneurs, uh, they have to pitch their ideas and try to convince venture capitalists uh, to invest in their companies. Now, he didn't, he left the show rather without any investment, but because of this episode, he, uh, you know, his sales just catapulted because he became quite famous, the company became quite right. famous, and now it's a multi-million uh, dollar uh, right, and company. Shaquille O'Neal, actually. Shaquille O'Neal uh, is way a part him. of the initiative because he has joined uh, the, uh, the founder, Jamie uh, Siminoff, to donate uh, these uh, devices to help uh, prevent crime in neighborhoods. And among the uh, investors in this company now is, um, is the billionaire Richard Branson. So now you can see the profile of the company has grown tremendously uh, since when Jamie Siminoff appeared on that reality show. Thanks for that, Dan.